your annual checkup results are in and your blood pressure is up. Your instinct says, this blood pressure problem can be fixed. All I need is a holiday. A few days on a tropical island, baking in the sun and sipping a mojito, avoiding your busy inbox, the traffic, your overbearing boss and all the other miscellaneous stresses will let the pressure out. But <laughs> that's not going to happen anytime soon. Well, I've got great news. You can get some of the benefit in your backyard. Exotic beach locations and the removal of those irritations and frustrations that are part and parcel of your life for a week or two is nice and highly recommended. But it's not obligatory. The must-have ingredient is the sun. And the blood pressure lowering effects happen instantaneously. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we look at how you can lower your blood pressure on your staycation, even if you don't live somewhere especially sunny. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Sun time is something that can be arranged, but right now it's not something you're arranging. In fact, truth be told, you haven't seen the sun since last year's vacation, which, uh, for the record, was a sizzling experience. The reason for the absence of sun? Well, your life happens inside and you deliberately avoid sun exposure because sun exposure causes skin cancer. Well, not so fast. Sunburn is not the same as sun exposure. Staying in the sun until you turn into a crispy is ill-advised. Not only does it hurt, it causes some serious damage to the skin. And this damage can come back to bite you in a diagnosis of skin cancer years down the line. Skin cancer is definitely a killer, but in the big picture of things, it's pretty rare. Statistically speaking, you're far more likely to die of heart disease. And if your blood pressure is high, the odds of this happening have just multiplied. Could it be time to change your thinking on sun exposure? Yes, but I know about vitamin D. And I'm doing it. It's probably helping. Being vitamin D deficient or insufficient sets you up for bad body chemistry. But there's plenty of science to suggest fixing vitamin D is not enough. The reason the beneficial effects on blood pressure have nothing to do with vitamin D. First off, the blood pressure lowering effects occur instantaneously. It takes hours to turn cholesterol into vitamin D. The sun's blood pressure lowering magic is tied up in the skin's store of nitrite. If you beam a little UV light onto a nitrite solution, chemistry happens. This is what a team of researchers based in the radiation effects department in the UK discovered when they beamed light on a 10 millimolar solution of sodium nitrite and sodium nitrate. UV light makes nitric oxide. The effect is most notable for UVA and UVC light. Since the ozone layer screens out UVC light, UVA light is what we're interested in. Here you can see the effect at different intensities of light. These are light levels that you would expect at midday on a clear summer's day in the UK. If you're still watching, your reaction to this news may very well be, so what? Well, there is nitrite in your skin. Lots of it. The levels of nitrite can be anywhere from 25 times to 360 times higher in your skin versus your blood. And Mother Nature never does anything without a reason. 
our team found the sodium nitrite our body has squirreled away in the skin layers reacts the same way to UV irradiation. When they pinched skin samples from baby boys and adults and exposed it to light, nitric oxide was released. Pretty much every cell type found in your skin does it. And all skins do it. But some are a lot better at it than others. At this stage, they don't know why. But it happens. Maybe you're still thinking, so what? Well, nitric oxide regulates blood pressure. It does this by encouraging the little muscles surrounding blood vessels to relax. But you've got to be careful. Dropping blood pressure too much is also a problem. Luckily, this won't happen when you're sun tanning. The team found that on average, the cells increase nitric oxide levels by 7%. That's a smidge, but there are lots of cells, so the smidge on paper at least could be too much. Fortunately, it's not, because nitric oxide flits. It's around for a very short period of time, and although it's a very powerful signaling system in its own right, the vasodilation depends on it being in the right place, that is, near a blood vessel, making the microvascular endothelial cells the key players. The UV light is able to penetrate through the multiple layers of skin. The deep dive ensures the nitric oxide production happens right where it matters, in and near the blood vessels, so it's open sesame. Humans have always lived under the sun. In fact, ancient cultures worship the sun. Only modern man abhors the sun. If you want to lower your blood pressure, get some sun. It will help you create better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry and need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who needs an exotic vacation? Share this video with them so they realize they can get the blood pressure lowering benefits of a vacation in their own backyard. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.